have uh, had a question about this Baranzo pencil. It is the color ice green. And uh, one of you uh, was asking, is it possible to reproduce this color by blending polychromos pencils? And um, I already did some testing and trying and because I do not have all the polychromos pencils um, I can, cannot tell for sure whether there is a combination that comes extremely close to this ice green but I will show you some combinations that are not uh, exactly the same but maybe there is a combination that will help you to um, get the results that you are uh, that you want so this is ice green I'll write it down And now I'm going to test uh, some colors. Now the first color that comes to mind when it comes to the polychromos is this one, cobalt green. I will place it next to it. And although it has the same, it is similar, it is, it is darker. It's just one little bit darker. And uh, this is cobalt green. Let's place that name here. And the number, this is 156 cobalt green. Polychromos. So now we are looking for a color combination that is lighter than this one. And uh, well, let's see if we can find anything. First, I will try the lightest blue that I have, that is sky blue. 146. Sky blue. So we are looking for a color that has this lightness because in my mind, in my eye, these and the ice green and the sky blue of the same tone. But of course, the sky blue has a different warmth, and this one comes a lot closer, but that one is darker. So, let's try some combinations. And I will first start with a color you may not consider, but I'm going to use this one, cream 102. Let's start here again. And I'm just using a light touch. And now I'm going to add that light blue, or the sky blue, this one. Let's see what happens. You know, blue and yellow together make a green. So if the sky blue has the right tone, 
it is not too dark then why not mix it with the yellow and make it look a little bit more green now if this is going to be successful that is the question but I'm putting several layers on top of each other So this is 102 plus 146, no you can't do, see what I'm doing, and 102 is green, and this is sky blue. So this is not very satisfying, so let's try another combination. And I'm going to use, oh, sorry, I dropped a pencil, but fortunately it is polychromos, unbreakable. 205 cadmium yellow lemon. Let's see what happens then. And, well, not so easy. Let's try this one, light phthalo blue, 145, let's just see what happens, I'm using a very light touch. Because although this is a pretty light blue, it is not as light as the sky blue, and I find this phthalo blue of a darker tone than the Brunzo ice green. We are looking for that. I'm going with this again. And here's the phthalo blue again. Although I think this is a lovely color, which is not ice green. I'll place, I'll write down the, this is 205. And uh, 145. So let's go for another combination. And I'm going to make a combination of three different colors. And starting with the cream again, that is the one I used over here. And this stayed very light, and I'm wondering what happens if I keep this very light combination and add a little bit of something else to it. What happens if I add a little bit of cobalt green? Just a very light touch. And then here is the lightest blue, sky blue. Let's add a little bit of this one too. And 
Now I started with the cream and then added the cobalt green. What happens if I do this again but then in a different um, then I do the, the yellow first and then the light blue but let's write down the numbers first I started with 102 cream then I added 156 and then I had 146 so now I'm going to do it again let's do it over here I really would love to make a combination with a very light grey as well, but the lightest grey that I have in my polychromal set is cold grey number two, so I think there is a cold grey number one as well. And maybe these light greys will help you to make a combination that works but unfortunately I cannot test it for you if you want a color that looks like ice green but you cannot find it, or you cannot, I actually, I'm not sure um, if Brunzel still sells that color. But if you are looking for a color like that, I my first hunch is that you would find it in the Erogeton series. And maybe the luminance too, or but the luminance I don't know, but I can check. I can check a Premier pencil, so a poly, uh, no Prismacolor. I could just check that. Look, now I think it is not the same. But I think this comes closest. The only thing is that by blending it you lose some of the vibrancy and it is not exactly the same of course so let me write down what I did I started with 102 the cream then I did 146 then 156 and then I added a little bit of yellow and a little bit of sky blue on top of the 156 cobalt green now this color this blending looks a bit dull so I am going to do one more color combination with a different kind of yellow and I'm using this one light yellow glaze let's see what happens then
and then the cobalt green again So this is the other combination and that is light yellow glaze 104, sky blue 146 and then 156, the cobalt green. So in my mind I think this combination comes closest. Although it it doesn't have the, the vibrancy of this ice green. So So it is very hard to may reproduce this uh, exact ice green. And actually I think it is it may be impossible to do that. So I think and it, that is um, for all drawings that you do and all color com combinations that you make. It is not so much about the exact color. It is about the feel of the color. Um, in combination with all the other colors that you use that may sound a little bit vague but um, I think if you would use a color combination like this it is a little bit dull but if you would tone down the other colors around and make them a little bit dull as well then you your eye may uh, give the entire drawing the same feeling as as if you would color, color with the pure pigment like this one and all vibrant tones around it. So, well, um, I will check for you if this color is available in uh, Erogeton or uh, Prismacolor Premiere, but I will uh, place my answer on this question um, in the description below the video. Bye bye!